Hey guys, this is the Java Python here to show you two designs for a delayed armor equipper. One that will shut off after it's dispensed the full suit of armor, which I forgot to load into it. And you can completely control the order it places the armor on the player. So I'll have this one do from bottom to top. And, you know, better get from weak to strong. I think is how it works. Uh, and it all uses the same basic thing of taking the signal through monostable then to a clock, inverting it, and blocking the hopper. Um, one, and this one shuts off as soon as you get off the uh, pressure plate. It is, however, for this one possible to completely lock it on. Uh, that is a danger. There's like a 1 in 5 chance. Which is kind of high. So. And if I hop off. It should have stopped. It will dispense one more than the last. I don't think I can stop that though. And then if I wait here give me the chest piece. The issue is since we're using repeater locking, stuff like this can happen, where it locks completely on, and it'll block the clock. Com totally. And not let this thing work. Uh, the next one, not even gonna bother to refill it, um, <coughs> works in sort of the same principle uh, for this, only rather than having it shut off based on inverting the signal and sending it to repeater locking, it still uses repeater locking, but it takes 82 ticks, including this repeater here, and sends it through and blocks it after it's gone through four times, forcing it to remain off, however. And this one's from top to bottom. And it shuts off and if we just watch it we'll see the clock goes around inverts the torch which turns off and then on the repeater just long enough for a hopper to go down and then fire the dispenser and I don't know if you guys will have seen saw it but this line takes I don't know how long I could add it up 82 times 2 ticks to go all the way around 1,604 ticks, divide by 20 for seconds, uh, to go around, what did I say? Over 20. That's the thing, I think. How many seconds? I don't know how many of it is, and I'm not going to try and find out. But, those are two designs for delayed ordered customizable armor equippers uh, not the most compact I could have made them I'm aware I just wanted to get this concept out there because really you see most armor equippers work like this one does which I should be able to demonstrate you have to be very precise in your placement of yourself I think it just goes down gives it to you and you're gone uh, whereas in a PvP arena or something you could want to have like this one was designed specifically for that uh, there's only one more and you could stick a hopper no you couldn't there's redstone under there but you could stick some method to gather the item or k kill an item that any item that's been alive more than 30 seconds I don't know I've seen people do that and see exactly if someone just runs over the pressure plate it's gonna break like this Uh, but yeah, and then this one's just survival and you want delay. I don't know why. You'd probably go with that one. But, cool. I will probably use one of these. Actually, this and that design in my survival world shortly. And this, which both of these are getting videos soon. But, that I'm sure you know how it works. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Watch on the Redstone Showcases. 
this has been fun. It wasn't, neither of these were one wide like I had intended. This one I could have made, couldn't, could I have? No, because of how repeater blocking works. But I could probably use some piston mechanic to make it one wide. But, I don't know, pretty survival friendly. Takes one sticky piston. This takes a lot more repeaters. Uh, but, on the other hand, is more reliable. Uh, I would suggest, however, adding some system to keep the player before they get a full suit of armor in, so they can't just wander around. And, of course, I would also suggest cover up the redstone. Always. That's all I've got for you guys. Please watch on the playlist of redstone showcases, and... I'll see you then.